Ten-year Treasury futures after yesterday's correction uh, continue to grind higher today. Uh, news reports that fear resurfaces once again over trade talks weighing on markets. Uh, seeing the stocks down a little bit, perhaps looking for a safe haven with a 10-year Treasury note. Uh, not sure if that's the case. I think a lot of it might be summer doldrums. Volumes are off and perhaps yesterday's uh, correction was just a little bit overdone. Today's data, definitely mixed. Um, housing starts came out slightly better than expected, although building permits were down uh, much more than expected and actually the lowest point since March 2016. Uh, right now, the Feds, uh, we are awaiting the Fed's release of the Beige Book. Definitely could have implications for 10-year Treasury. But other than that, it is, uh, tra you know, tens are trading in a, um, definitely in an up move, but um, also a very slow up move. Um, technicals are very important at this point. Um, the immediate resistance for, for futures would be the low yield that we saw not too long ago of 1.939, following a, a pretty exact downslope of 1.80 and 1.75. On the upside um, for yields supporting in the futures, looking at moving day averages, a 74 day moving average of two spot 305, followed by a 100 day moving average of two spot 387. So uh, for now, beyond the beige book, um, traders looking for any more talk from the Fed with regards to uh, what's going to happen at the end of July. It does seem almost 100% certain that um, there will be a rate cut in July. But what that does to the 10-year you know, Treasury is a whole different story. And today, the 210 is uh, flattening from what we saw over the last several days.